The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. you to do is listen to the radio with me. Oh, but I wanted to sleep late. This is important, Viv. Listening to the radio? I want you to help me win a contest. Oh, Lucy, I'm sleeping. Oh, Viv, please, please, sit down. Now, I'll give you some talk. Okay, bring it up to my bed. Viv, will you please sit down? Now, this will only take a little while. You know, you wouldn't be so tired if you didn't stay up all night looking at TV. I don't know why you watch that late, late show anyway. You've already got a used car. <laughs> you know how I love those James Cagney movies? This is the best one he ever did. This is the one where he pushed that grapefruit into his girlfriend's face. Boy, they don't make love scenes like that anymore. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's time to get ready for the contest. Hurry up, get ready. Howdy, howdy, all you happy housewives. This is Gordy Felson, and it's contest time. Oh, it's contest time. Shh, Viv, now be quiet. Concentrate. Close your eyes so you can really hear the sound. I'm now going to play the mystery sound. It's a noise you lovely lady listeners can find right there in your kitchen. To the first person who calls in and correctly identifies the sound, Station WLDJ will award a cash prize of $25 in the honor of being disc jockey for a day right here in our sensation of a station. So glue those ears to the radio, girls. Here, here, here it comes, the mystery sound. Identify it and win. Ready? Ready. There it was. Now just give me a call and that's all. And now back to the swing sounds of Jan Garber. <laughs> all right, all right, what was it? I don't know. Yeah, well, let's figure it out now. It was sort of a whir. We must have one of those around here someplace. Yeah, which drawer do you keep the whirs in? <laughs> oh, now, Viv, I'm serious. I can use that $25, and I, and I want to I want to work at the radio station for a day. It might lead to bigger things, you know. Well, is that any reason to tear apart our whole kitchen? <laughs> Maybe it's the blender. No, I don't think that's it. I don't think no? that's it. No? Maybe it's the washing machine. Now, you listen. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a, maybe it's, it's a knife sharpener. A knife and an electric knife sharpener. No, that isn't. Egg beater. Look, now listen. Listen, Viv. Egg beater. Sorry. I don't think that's it either. Maybe it was something simple like water running. Oh, if it was that simple, everybody would guess it. Well, you know, they could have taken some small noise and amplified it on the microphone. The egg timer. The egg timer? Yeah. The sound of sand falling in the egg timer. Now listen, Viv. <laughs> Do you hear anything? Yep, Lawrence of Arabia calling for help. <laughs> thing I oh. ever heard of. What kind of a sound would that be anyway? This is just, it's all silly. I know, the garbage disposal. Ah, uh, bop, 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 bop now. Did you have the plumber fix it? No, I didn't have the plumber fix it. I fixed it myself. Oh. I'll try these eggshells. <laughs> What'd that sound like? Eggshell. <laughs> with nothing in it. Let's see how that sounds. Uh, what can I put in there?
Why? I just stopped by to give you your weekly allowance check. But I didn't expect to interrupt a Spike Jones rehearsal. <laughs> well, if you would allow me a bigger allowance, I wouldn't have to try and win money. Win? Yes, the mystery sound contest on WLDJ. If you guess the sound, you win $25, and you might get to be a disc jockey for a day. I haven't heard anything so ridiculous since Mrs. Hush. <laughs> the money. One nice thing about getting a check from you, Mr. Mooney, I can cash it on any bus. <laughs> well, I'm not going to stand around and have my fiduciary efforts ridiculed. Good day, ladies. Oh, come on, Mr. Mooney. Don't you like to help us? Me? Participate in that housewife's hoot nanny? <laughs> no, thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Mooney. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the contest. Oh, Lucy, haven't we wasted enough time? Well, you know something? It's probably an offbeat sound. I got one more hunch. You know the weird sound that an ice tray makes when you pull it out of the refrigerator? No, I don't think that's it. Well, now, how do you know? Oh. Oh, boy. Come on, help me. It's stuck. Oh, boy, it's frozen solid. I told you to defrost that thing. Getting that tray out of there would be worse than trying to pull teeth. Well, now, I just bet that that's a mystery noise. You know that scrunching sound it makes when you pull it out? Well, if you think so and you're so sure about it, call him up and tell him. Oh, no, 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 you're only allowed one guess. I gotta be absolutely positive. Well, you'll never get that thing out of there. Oh, yes, I will. sound as a refrigerator going off. Well, thank you. The way I wrecked my refrigerator, it may never go on again. <laughs> well, a Gordon Felsen contest is never an easy contest. No. <laughs> now, why don't you just have a seat? Thank you. The other winner will be here shortly. Other winner? Yes, the, the, uh, the other listener I called up on another phone at the same time you did, so I have to consider it a tie. Just my luck, a one-man station with two phones. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs> well, am I supposed to split the money or something? Oh, no, no, no. A, a Gordon Felsen contest never ends in a tie. We're going to have a playoff. What's a playoff? Well, I'll explain that to you when the other winner gets here. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Mooney. Hello. You know the other winner? Other winner? You? You said this contest was silly. I said it was silly for you. I didn't say anything about me. Well, I'm not going to have a playoff with this banking Benedict Arnold. It's fair. We'll have an announcing contest to break the top. An announcing contest? 
You two happy winners are ready. I'll hear you both now. Well, now I do the Gettysburg Address, Hamlet soliloquy, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Uh, well, I can do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, a uh, Little Bo Peep, and Tubby the Tuba. <laughs> and none of that'll be necessary. You just have to say what's on the card here. Oh, I see. <laughs> <clears throat> Big black rubber baby buggy bumper. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's a standard disc jockey test, and the one who says it the fastest and the clearest wins. Just say what's on the piece of paper three times fast and clear. <laughs> <laughs> Big black rubber baby baby buggy baggers. Big black ragga bagga booga biggie Big black baggy biggie biggie boogers biggie. He didn't do it, he didn't do it. All you can understand was what he cleared his throat. <laughs> Uh, big black rubber baby buggy bumpers. Big black rubber baby buggy bumpers. Big black rubber baby buggy bumpers. I won! I won! I won! I won! I won! I see. Well, I suppose I'd better be getting back to the bank. I have a lot of work to do. Like reviewing the mortgage on this radio station. Oh, wait! No, oh, wait, no. Come here, maybe, maybe we can give Mr. Mooney another chance. That's not fair. Here, here, try the same thing with, with this one. The red leather, yellow leather. Three times fast. <laughs> That's easy. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red Right turntable, that is the master switch, that is the amplifier, this is the uh, selectivity switch, whatever that is. And of course, I know that's the microphone. Right. This is the volume control, these are all the baseball cues. Yeah, that's right, the sound effects here, they'll help you dramatize the baseball game. Yep. And I know it's got the left turntable. Right, and that's the audio control yep. for the left turntable. Right. And this is the tape machine for the commercial. The commercial for Spangle Soda Pop. Right, Spangle. They're our big sponsor, and they pay all the bills. Here. I know, I know, I know. Just put this switch right here. Okay. That's it. Well, it all looks pretty easy. It looks to me like this place practically runs itself. Right. We're hooked into the network now, but you'll be going on in a few minutes. Uh -huh. So here's a rundown of the show. You just oh. follow this schedule. Thank you. What's that? <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the news teletype, remember? Oh, yes, yes, the teletype for the news bulletin. That's it. Well, I guess I can take off. Good luck. Have a nice day. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, and don't you worry about a thing. I got everything under control. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The right turn table and the master switch. The amplifier and selectivity switch. And the... I haven't got a note on that one. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Well, now I know what turns on the electric fan, but I don't know anything else. <laughs> What's that? I'm on the air. I'm on the air. Oh, uh, rubber baby buggy bumper rubber buggy. <laughs> Hello out there. Hello out there. This is, uh, this is, uh, 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 uh Lucy. Lucy the disc jockey saying hello out there. Hello. Hello to all of you people in Radio Land. <laughs> Way out there. Uh, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to be here all day uh, with, with all of your favorite tunes, from rock to rock Rachmaninoff. But uh, first, a word from our sponsor, Spangle Soda Pop. Oh, uh, mercy, mercy. Friends. Spangle Soda Pop. Drink that stuff.
some music. Uh. here today. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, we, uh, we interrupt this program to bring you a traffic advisory bulletin. All the alternate routes are heavily congested. Please use the freeways. <laughs> number for Hilda. Oh, Hilda and Bab. Uh-huh. And Jan? Oh, Hilda, Babs, and Jan. And Ella. Uh-huh. And Molly, and Dottie, and Roselle, and Mimi. Mimi? Yeah, like Eisenhower. Yeah. And Mildred, and Doris, and Nora. Yeah, yeah. And, and Emma. Uh-huh. Mary Ann, and Evelyn, and Sadie, and Emma. Is that the same Emma you just mentioned? <laughs> oh, oh, this was the redhead. <laughs> and Sue Ellen. Yeah, yeah, that's one name, I know. Yeah, and Gertrude and Estelle and Joan and Connie and Sylvia. Uh-huh. Well, uh, and what number would you like me to play, sir? You're the one for me? <laughs> I'm very happy to play your request, sir. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> You're the one for me. You're the one for me. <laughs> uh, I, I can't find you're the one for me, but here's a good one. Uh, yes, sir, you're going to love it. Yes, it's Bing Crosby sings Stephen Foster. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Stephen Foster. Uh. Oh, yes, sirree, folks, a baseball game. We're in the ninth inning of the ball game. Now, both pitchers have no hit games going for them. And the score is nothing, nothing, so you haven't missed anything yet, really. Uh, and Corey Thompson is at bat. Now, here comes the pitch, and it's a hit. Oh, a hit. A hit. <laughs> it's a hit. <laughs> well, now, I told you it was a hit, and listen to that crowd roar. Crowd roar. <laughs> Crowd roar. Now Thompson is rounded first and is running for second. Running for second. Running. <laughs> Boy, he's really running, folks. Uh, and, and it's going to be a close play, and, and Thompson slides into second base. Slide. Slide. <laughs> second base, but he left his pants at first base. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the umpire saw Thompson out, and Thompson is furious. He is arguing with the umpire. Arguing with the umpire. He's having a little horseradish. I mean, uh, uh, a rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> arguing. It's a, they're having a terrible argument. <laughs> Oh, my God. 